Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. This video is structure equation modeling using AMOS part 9. In this video, we will be discussing about confirmatory factor analysis using AMOS. First, we will discuss about confirmatory factor analysis. Next, we will take one example and perform the example in structure equation modeling AMOS. Okay. Confirmatory factor analysis is a statistical technique used to verify the factor structure of a set of observed variables. Confirmatory factor analysis allows the researcher to test the hypothesis that a relationship between observed variables and their underlying latent structure exists. The researcher uses knowledge of the theory, empirical research or both, postulates the relationship pattern and then tests the hypothesis statistically. To do this confirmatory factor analysis, I am using an example of a theory. The theory is theory of planned behavior. This theory of planned behavior is a theory which links belief and behavior. The concept was proposed by agent to improve on the predictive power of the theory of reasoned action by including perceived behavioral control. So this is the model which Eijen has proposed about theory of planned behavior. In this model, we have five variables, observed variables. Attitude to behavior, subject to norm, perceived behavior, intention and behavior. And we can see the relationship between the attitude to behavior, subject to norm to intention, perceived behavior to intention. But there is no relationship between attitude to directly to behavior and subject to norm is also not having direct impact on behavior. So attitude to behavior has indirect impact on behavior. Subject to norm is having indirect impact on behavior. But Perceived behavior control has a direct impact on behavior. So this is the model which I am going to take to doing for my confirmatory factor analysis. I have taken 300 respondents to study their behavior about social networking services. I collected data about their attitude, subject to norm, perceived behavior control, intention and behavior. So taking this theory of planned behavior, I want to confirm the same model in my analysis. So now I will go to structure equation model AMOS and I will draw the same diagram and I will assign my data and check confirmatorily. So this is AMOS graphics. Now I am going to draw five observed variables. One, two, three, four, and 5. The relationships we have is exactly I am drawing the same model of theory of planned behavior. <clears throat> okay. Now let me assign the file data file 
okay file name CFA CFA file open say okay let me assign the variable attitude subject to norm perceived behavior intention and behavior okay now in this five observed variables attitude subject norm perceived behavior control are exogenous variables intention and behavior are endogenous variables or we call this two intention and behavior as indicator variables so indicator variable need to have error variables on them so i'm assigning error variables okay now let me name this unobserved variables these are errors which are called as unique variables in my previous videos we discussed what is the importance of error videos and why we need to add this error variables now this is a model which i have let me do analysis properties output standardized estimation okay now this is theory of planned behavior where my analysis i want to do about the respondents behavior to sub social networking services so i have taken attitude subject to norm perceived behavior intention and behavior so the relation what i am maintaining between the observed variables are depending on some theory this is called confirmatory now i want to confirm it whether this is going to be applicable with theory of planned behavior now let me calculate the estimates system is saying to do correlation between the three variables let me do it okay 1 2 3 and i just say draw covariance so system is drawing this side not a problem okay now covariance is let me do calculate estimates system is asking to save the data file okay let me save the data file as cfa save it okay now this is active output path diagram has become active now before we go for checking the estimates this output path diagram will become active once the model is identified in my previous videos i discussed what is model identification model should not be unidentified model can be over identified or just identified saturated model but if model is identified then only we are going to get this output path diagram okay now this is what the values i have let me magnify and show you the values so this is the values i have let me go for view text and first to see degree of freedom is 2 <clears throat> okay let me first to see model fit okay my gfi is 0.968 okay and uh, cfi is 96 uh, 0.961 it is it is above the threshold value of 0.9 okay minimum discrepancy is 12 it need to come down still and uh, rmsea should be less than 0.05 it is 0.2 we need to check this okay let me see the estimates now when we see the estimates the impact of attitude on intention is significant p value should be less than 0.05 if star marks it is showing it mean it is 0.00 so 0.00 is less than 0.05 so this is significant 
subject norm on intention is not significant so we need to remove that perceived behavior on intention is significant intention on behavior is also significant and uh, perceived behavior on behavior is also significant and uh, correlation if you see the correlation also covariance all are significant so the model which i have got is applicable the same theory of planned behavior except social norm subject to norm has no impact on intention so this is what is confirmatory it is confirming except one parameter that is subject to norm which i am showing as 0.7 is not having that is subject to norm has no impact on intention in terms of social networking services this is up to my analysis so confirmatory model we take some theory or conceptual model or any sort of research as a base and we discuss the same thing in structure equation model whether we are confirming it or not this is what is confirmatory factor analysis which i have checked the model is identified the gfi is above 0.9 and all are having impact which are significant except social norm is not having impact on uh, subject to norm is not having impact on intention so this is called as confirmatory factor analysis in amos so hypothesis if you want to create we say subject to norm has no impact on intention so it is not significant so this is what we confirm that subject to norm has no impact on intention whereas attitude perceived behavior has in, uh, impact on intention intention has impact on sub behavior and um, perceived behavior control also has impact and as you can see this value 0.36 0.34 and there is a correlation between these three independent variables i wish the video is informative and useful for your analysis purpose thank you